Hello guys, today we will discuss what is new in uh, device enrollment. So if you if you check this new feature, uh, stage Android device enrollment to reduce end user steps. So in the Android enrollment, now we can stage the enrollment steps. So this, this new feature is applicable to corporate owned fully managed device or corporate owned with a work profile. So what, what is new with this feature is the enrollment is staged and when the end user receives the device, they have minimal tasks to perform in order to enroll the device fully so we will see how an admin can configure this setting in intune admin center and uh, what are the benefits of this so i will go to this article so this this applies to android corporate owned fully managed and corporate owned work profile device so you create a token in the Intune Admin Center, which we will see now uh, for staging, which is called staging token. And there is already a default token. So both these options have different uh, end user uh, interface uh, when they try to enroll. So what happens with the staging token? stage one is completed by admin okay so the enrollment has three three stages stage one stage two and stage three so in stage one an admin creates a token in the admin center now the second stage is completed by admin or a third party vendor sort of admin so the admin will turn on the device we'll scan this token and uh, again turn it off and send it to the end user to complete the stage 3 so what we do in first stage is create the enrollment profile and staging enrollment token in the admin center you set the expiration date and third one is you can optionally create a dynamic device group or an assignment filter so you can assign policies and apps in the user stage the dynamic device group feature isn't available to configure in the remaining stages so we can create a dynamic device group or an assignment filter based on the enrollment profile name so we can uh, assign the policies and configuration at the different stages we will see how it works uh, when we will create the filter or the dynamic group in second stage an admin will unbox unbox the new new android device assemble and power on the new device you are enrolling complete the enrollment steps and set of wizards and when you get to the sign in screen stop because you are an admin you will send this device to the end users do not sign in with this device scan the staging token QR code or enter the token string turn off the device and distribute it to the end user so during stage 2 the Intune assignment assignment filter is only available option for targeting policies and apps so what happens uh, if you want to assign any policies uh, to the device or any apps to that device you can do it uh, at the stage 2 but you will have to create assignment filter to uh, 
do it at stage 2 before the stage 3 is completed by an user you can deploy the apps and policies so when the users install the device is ready for use so now we will uh, move to Intune admin center and uh, we will create uh, one of such uh, uh, endowment uh, policy I will go to Android Android enrollments okay so we know we have uh, this feature with two of these options corporate owned fully managed user device let's go with that okay go to create profile This is uh, the option we talked about default and via staging. So you can select the staging now, set the token expiration date. Now it's done. So we have completed stage one, first stage, okay, till here. Now I will create a assignment filter because we know that the dynamic device group will not work unless the third stage is complete. So and we want to apply the policies and apps uh, by the stage uh, two only. So we will go ahead and create a filters. That's why filters are important. Uh, filters. Uh, evaluates uh, in the very beginning so I will go and go to um, tenant administration here I will find that filter option okay I'll create a filter manage devices Android Enterprise next enrollment profile name equals add a value I will copy the name from We cannot make mistake uh, in providing the name so I will copy the exact name copy this if I click add expression okay so this is done now you have your filter so what you can do is uh, you can use this filter and uh, based on this filter uh, the policies you can add this filter to uh, a policy uh, while assignment uh, creating assignment and uh, this device these devices will get uh, get targeted and the policies will get get deployed uh, even before the end user uh, completes the enrollment that is after stage two
So this has made uh, the user part easier compared to the uh, previous enrollments for Android Enterprise where all the tasks uh, were performed by end user and it was uh, highly uh, likely for an end user to make any mistake and uh, resulting in more calls or uh, service test tickets. So you can go through this article. Uh, one thing is even you can uh, you can see the real-time status of those devices. Uh, so devices set up via staging remain in stage two until the end users sign in with their work or SQL account. These devices appear in report with staging prefix. So in the reporting, they will have a prefix in the enrollment like this till the time the device is on the second stage. And after the end user completes the enrollment, the user replaces the staging prefix in the report. So this is all uh, for this video. Uh, I can show you the token. Uh, I forgot. can hear by scanning this uh, you can uh, go for this type of enrollment so thank you everybody for watching my video and uh, I will request you to please subscribe I will come up with a uh, new content very soon thank you